All right, friends, we're back. Part two of soil blocking. Um, so it's been a few days. It's been two days, maybe. Uh, the soil blocking makes it still pretty wet. I can still squeeze water out of it. I ended up overwatering it that day, but um, I didn't want to mess with it anymore because I wanted to eat pizza. Um, so this actually needs more water. I cannot squeeze water out of it. And so that's where I will begin. If you forgot, we want it to be like peanut butter. The consistency of peanut butter. Oh, here's a funny story for you guys. So we got um, new neighbors behind us. They uh, sold the house and they are moving in next week. We were talking to them a few days ago and uh, I was telling them, telling the woman that uh, I garden um, in my bathing suit a lot <laughs> in my backyard and uh, I also will garden naked sometimes. So be forewarned that uh, uh, take caution when you uh, look out your back windows or come out your back door. <laughs> She didn't, uh, she kind of laughed about it, but uh, her response was not too, uh, not too uh, happy, I would say. So I also just done a uh, field of request for the nonprofit. Uh, she texted me earlier today and said that she had three patients pass away and she would like some flowers for the families. And so um, and I harvested and uh, made those arrangements and I will include that footage right here. Okay, let's check consistency. And I am able to squeeze water out of it, so uh, this seems just about right. Okay, so um, this is ready to go. I have this uh, lid to like a, I don't know how many gallon tote, but it's like, you know, you know those big Christmas totes. So that's what this is. This is a lid for one. Um, I used this last time I did the soil blocks uh, because it's so big. It is heavy when it's wet, but it is big and it's easy to move um, all at once because I am taking these out to the Yupik flower farm. Um, I don't want to have to go back and forth, back and forth, carrying them from my backyard to my car and then out to the field. So um, I found that this was very useful because it was so big and I could carry so many at once. Uh, so what I'm doing, I've got the soil block here. And the soil blocking mix and I am just putting this down onto the soil and I'm sliding it back and forth and applying pressure. By moving it back and forth, it's shoving more soil into the soil blocker. And when I pull it up, I check it and make sure it's completely packed and that they are filled all the way. That time it was not. Um, I wipe my hand across the bottom of it to pull off the extra soil, make sure I push it in all of the way. And then I'm putting it down on the tray. 
And then I squeeze it and push down at the same time and a beautiful soil box. When I pull it out, I kind of turn it to the side, I tilt it over so that it doesn't suction out all of the uh, soil that's in the squares. If you're wondering why I've been making fashion announcements before my videos or on my videos, it is because uh, YouTube is not allowing monetization on all my videos. Uh, they're saying that they don't meet uh, ad suitability for, for all audiences. Nipples can have a sheer covering uh, for fashion. And from what I've heard is that you can just state that it is for fashion and therefore it's for fashion. Uh, but it's pretty upsetting when I go and upload a video and it comes back limited, limited audience or limited, limited ad revenue because of the content. And um, some videos will be limited and others will not, even though they have the same contents in them. Um, I think a lot has to do with uh, maybe the thumbnail on it, but the thumbnail is very important when it comes to uh, videos because that's what draws people in. It's like the book cover. I really like uh, my, my content to be a natural and it's not natural if I have to cover up if I have to change things for my videos. So if I have to put on a padded bra to cover, to cover um, the impression of my nipples, that's not very natural. So then my content isn't real anymore. So I'm down to the last little bit of the soil mix. So there's actually a couple on here that I had done uh, the other day. Turn it so you guys can see it. I think you're able to see all of it now. Yes. So um, these ones I done the other day. Okay, so I've got all my seeds that I'm going to start. I've also made my labels. So I can mark um, each row so I know which ones are which. Because a lot of these I have never, um, I have never planted before. So first I have Solidago. And I'll make sure to include pictures over here. We're also having a popsicle party. Uh, we have Winged Everlasting. This is from Johnny Seeds. I have notes written on these. Um, most of them, most of them say uh, how deep to plant them and uh, how many weeks it takes to uh, for bloom, till it gets to bloom harvestable. Uh, this one is, I didn't even look. This one is Phlox and it is right here. I also have Baby's Breath. This one is the annual, I believe. There's two different types. There's an annual and there's a perennial. I believe this one is an annual. And a fever fuel. This one is the Vegmo. I have another fever fuel here. I actually discovered that I have three different types of fever fuel. But uh, this one is the Tetra, Tetra White. And I also have Tweedia. Uh, this one is a perennial, I believe. And yeah, uh, the Twitia says it takes a long time to germinate. So uh, we'll see if uh, I have enough patience for this one. Because if it takes a long time to germinate, the other ones on the tray 
may end up being like this big and the Twidia may not have even sprouted yet and to be surface sown, which means uh, it needs light to germinate. And there is 100 seeds in here. And these are rather large seeds. They kind of look like zinnia seeds. They, in fact, they very much so look like zinnia seeds. I don't know if I can, if you guys can see it, but that's them. So I'm gonna just do one per cell because there is only a hundred of them. I made a hundred and 12 or 114 uh, soil blocks. It was four times 28, I believe. I wrote down over there, it might be 114. But no, 112, it was 112. So right now I just planted uh, four, eight, 12, 16 of the Tweedia. Uh, next I'll do the fever few. Fever few is very, are very small seeds. Uh, this is to be surface sown. So I planted 16 of the Tetra. Now I'm going to plant the Vegmo White, Vegmo Snow. And these ones are pelleted, uh, which means they have a coating on the outside of the seed. Uh, that way it's, e it's easier to plant, it's easier to see them, and uh, it's easier not to lose them and to keep track. I'll do Winged Everlasting now. Uh, my notes on this one, no, this one doesn't have notes because the instructions are on the back of it. It's from Johnny's. Searched high and low for this one. No, I tried to get this one at Geo's, but I couldn't find it. And so I ended up going with Johnny's. It says cover lightly with vermiculite. Uh, I don't have vermiculite. Usually when it says that, that means that the seed needs light to germinate and the vermiculite uh, holds in the moisture while letting light in at the same time. Germination rate on these are at 98. I'll do Saladago. 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 These ones are tiny. Uh, they need light to germinate. These are maybe even smaller than the fever fuel. They are smaller than fever fuel. There is 1,000 in this pack. Thank God, because I'm definitely not gonna be able to lay one down at a time because they're too small. Uh, that's a great thing about pelleted seeds is that they, it's easier to regulate how many you are putting in the soil. Whereas if they're small, you can't, you can't pick them up to uh, lay them down one at a time. Not that I know, no way that I know of. Okay, I'm gonna do the flux. Uh, this says one fourth of an inch. I didn't do very many. I actually only done eight because uh, I didn't realize that they uh, were not surface sown. So I'm trying to really only do surface sown ones right now so I can do the flocks out in the field uh, easily. So this next one is the baby's breath. So I'm just gonna water them in. When I water these in, I will uh, have it on the mist setting. That way it doesn't disturb the placement of the seeds and it doesn't cover them. And that is it. Uh, I'm gonna water them every day, uh, maybe even twice a day, depending on how dry they get. Uh, I wanna keep them very wet until they are germinated and they have their first true leaves. So uh, thanks for watching. And remember, keep your hands dirty. I don't wanna lose your love. Woman, you don't even know.
what I am without you standing next to me. Cause we've been growing so long, pushing our roots straight through the concrete slab. Believe me, I don't ever want to have to cut it down.